in as many years, and, and quite a draw in front. Robinson shoots, he scores! A broken play by Matt Robinson, and he converts from below the right circle. And Robinson's goal gives Stockton a 1-0 lead. And Cyborgs, Costa to the slot to Costa, walks in, tipped in front, score! <laughs> Igor Gongolski right at the doorstep, taps it in. Thunder lead 2-1. Left point, returns it into the corner now for J.F. Cadron. In behind, centering pass, Eisenman shoots, he scores! 8.31 to play in the first period, and the Thunder keep rolling with three goals in this opening frame. Now be shorthanded into the zone. Left wing breaks in, but across. Marku, he scores! Third goal of the year for the reliable defenseman, Daryl Marku. It comes shorthanded with 14.44 to go in the second period. The Thunder lead it. 4-2. Back Dalvis for Stoughton into the offense and is over base right wing shoots. He scores! The Thunder power play finally breaks through and they get their largest lead of the hockey game. For Jamie Bates, he picks up number 20 on the campaign with 2.42 to go in the second period. It is 5-2 Thunder. Uncharacteristic for a Victoria team. Should we a break? Right wing, he shoots, he scores! The floodgates have open, and Kelly Chewy buries a rocket from the right wing over Glenn Fisher and under the crossbar. Second consecutive power play goal with 118 to go in the second. The Thunder bursts the lead now to 6 to 2. Front, Dalvis can't put it on. Got it in front. Robinson a shot. He scores! Third consecutive power play goal for the Thunder. Matt Robinson converting off a scramble in front with Glenn Fisher beaten dead and rights. It is 7-2 Thunder. What was working was we were able to uh, possess the puck and uh, the other team, uh, Victoria, was playing a lot of defense and they were, that in turn put them back on their heels and any team when they're back on their heels are not able to exert their, uh, their full potential on offense just because they're wasting so much energy playing defense and uh, I think we tired them out and uh, we were able to wear them down. Oh uh, yeah, but the uh, most important thing is uh, that the team keeps winning, and uh, maybe that uh, our line keep or my line starts to pick it up a bit. They've been we've been in a little bit of a lull, but um, I think uh, I think we're working things out. And uh, tonight was certainly a step forward, and uh, we hope to continue that. That's a team we have to catch, and uh, anytime you can beat a team you're looking up at, uh, put yourself in a good position to. Uh, catch him down the road here. Uh, I was just relief. Uh, I think King Kong jumped off my back there. It was, it was getting a little frustrating for myself, but uh, I mean, the guys played extremely well tonight. I mean, we had a lot of firepower and, you know, it was kind of an easier night for me back there knowing if I just made a few saves, you know, we'd outscore them. You looked at a couple of key saves uh, late in that first period being that you hadn't seen a lot of rubber to finally help get yourself settled in. Yeah, I'd gotten more comfortable as the weekend went on and, uh, you know, we we came out to a good start, got those couple quick goals. So, you know, at least I knew that uh, the guys were going to back me on the offensive part. And, you know, I just settled in, made a few saves, and went from there. Victoria is a team that uh, does a lot in terms of uh, scoring from off a of transition. Uh, what do you think the first big key was? And was it just simply just to try to get yourself settled in as much as possible whenever they cross the offensive zone blue line? Yeah, just knowing that, that they like to play, uh, you know, odd man rushes and that in our defense. Uh, had good uh, gaps tonight, which which helped. So, uh, you know, we weren't seeing too many of those uh, real good scoring opportunities from the middle of the ice as we did last night. But, uh, you know, we kept kind of shots from the outside and managed to control my rebounds pretty well. And the same problem with any of this need to do the same thing against Utah next week? Yeah, same thing. I mean, Utah's they're all offense. Uh, you know, they like to play a bit of pawn hockey. So we're going to have to be ready for it. And I think, you know, if we play a good defensive game like we did tonight as well, uh, I think we can, we can beat them. Yeah, I think so. I think, again, it was uh, kind of a sloppy game. Uh, not a really, I don't think it was a fun one uh, in terms of intensity for a player to play in. I think a fun one and with opportunities to score some goals. Uh, it, it was some undisciplined play on both sides. You, you have 19 power plays between the two. Not much of a rhythm you can get into as a player. Uh, so the, with that being said, I really like the way that we performed 
on the power play and the, and the fact that we scored some goals. So it was uh, it was nice to be able to go out there and, and pump seven, seven seven in and get Sorch's first win. I know he's been battling hard to kind of get that monkey off his back. So it was nice that the guys stepped up and did that for him. Yeah, yeah it was kind of funny. He looked like Jim Craig when they won the Miracle on Ice at the end of the game, looking up at the thing. Uh, it was uh, I think he was probably even over exaggerating it a bit, but uh, the uh, it, it's huge for anybody. I think it's it's huge for our team. Uh, you know, Sorch is a big part of it, and uh, he had to step into a difficult situation where his confidence hasn't been so high, hasn't been getting the results, and for him to be able to, to bounce back from uh, from what would you know you could classify as an off night the night before, and 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 he stopped a lot of good puck, a lot of good shots there, and a lot of good plays by them early and and throughout the game of different things, and I think it was a real tough game for any goalie to get into. I think maybe Fisher had a little bit of a better opportunity because of the consecutive power plays that we had, but. For Sorch, there was a lot of big lulls and the pressure against him, and for him to be as good as he was, especially down the stretch when it could have got, we got we got a little bit sloppy. It was it was nice that he was able to get the win. I didn't know that he got four assists. Uh, the uh, like I said, it was one of those things. I think I rode him. I probably was on him harder than I was on anybody tonight. I didn't think that he was having the type of game that. Uh, he's capable of playing, I, but when I say that, I also think he made some unbelievable plays to, to you know, to set up some goals. You, you think about the play to Marku. You think uh, you think about the play off the opening, uh, the opening uh, goal there to Robinson's goal, and then a great play on the the last goal of the game. Um, so he's a great player. He does those things, and I, like I said, I think it was a hard game for a player to really feel to get in. And I, you know, when I was looking for more out of us in terms of a playoff atmosphere, but it's tough to generate that playoff atmosphere when the other team isn't really playing that type of a game. So uh, great for him, I, you know, to come out of a game and get four points and you know and play as well as we did as a team, and for individuals to have big nights. That, that's what it's all about, and I think it's. You know, it's fitting that a guy like Dalvis, who's been so good for us for such a stretch, is uh, able to have a big night and get four.